Alright guys, we're back with another tutorial. If you guys watched my last couple videos, I showed you guys how to paint uh, red bricks, cement bricks, and as well as sandstone. Now I just want to show you a quick tutorial of how to make, how to paint stone color. Um, this is just going to be a regular, like, gray stone out there. Um, if you watch my cement tutorial, how to paint cement bricks, uh, it's kind of following around those lines. We're going to same use the same three colors and add one more color in there to kind of make it look like stone or slash rocks. As you can see in front of you, I just cut out some random pieces that look like cut stone. I add some texture to one of them. The other one I left kind of smooth. I just applied some Elmer's glue and stuck some barbecue skewers in there so I could hold them and paint them in front of this camera for you guys. I'm going to move this aside and just grab one and we're going to get right into this tutorial. So I'm going to grab one of the rocks on the skewers and we're going to apply the first coat which is um which is the hippo gray that i like using it's the darkest color and like i said before if this is your first time painting it's good it's a good rule of thumb if you don't know what you're doing to start with your darker tones and work your way up to lighter tones and we're going to use our dry brushing technique that we used before and we're just going to we dip our paintbrush into the paint and dry it off the majority of the paint off the brush and we're just dry brushing on here now and this is the hippo gray color it's my darkest gray I'm just gonna apply this to the whole thing we're gonna get a good amount of coverage we're gonna get about 90% coverage on this piece I'm gonna do this to both pieces and then I'm gonna come right back all right we're back guys we have the base coat already dried I just want to show you guys in the light and now we're going to move on to the next color and the next color is going to be a graphite gray and we're going to apply the same dry brushing technique with this that we did with the previous color swipe it off my brush and apply a little bit of this paint on top just randomly you're going to try to get the big surfaces of this we're only going at about 10% coverage with this color. You don't want to cover that base coat up too much. We're just going to lightly dry brush this. I'm going to do this to both. And right now it doesn't seem like it's doing anything on camera, but I'll have some high def, some high resolution pictures at the end of these for you. I'm going to do this to the same one and I'm going to come back and we're going to apply the next color. All right, now that that graphite gray is nice and dry, we're going to move on to the next color. It's going to be just a regular gray. It's, it is a lighter tone than the last two. And we're going to go about 5% coverage with this. We're just going to go really lightly. And we're using the same dry brushing technique that we used earlier. I just want to go lightly over both of these. Try to get some of these edges as well. I'm going to do these to both and let this dry. We're going to come back with the last color. That's really going to sell this as that gray stone color that I like going for. All right, we have those uh, base colors already done and painted. We're going to move on to the last color that's really going to sell the stone texture. But I just want to give a quick tip and, a, a, and something to explain. If you do do this, this is the same way I paint the cement blocks. I like to ref refresh your memory with that. And you could just leave it like this and you can have some cement uh, rubble lying around your diorama, but I'll make these into stones. And the last thing that we're going to use, the last thing that we're going to do is add the white. And we're not going to dry brush the white all over this. We're just going to get the highest points. So wherever there's an edge, we're going to apply some white. And I like to use a stiff brush for this. It really gives it a random uh, texture to it. We're just going to hit the really high parts. And just want to dry brush the edges. And this is what's really going to make it look like stone. And like I mentioned in all my videos, anything that I use in this video, I'm going to leave pictures at the end. So all the colors will be down there. So look forward to seeing that. As you can see, it's already starting to look like stone compared to the one I have right here next to it. I'm going to finish dry, dry brushing both of these and come right back. All right, here we have both rocks 
fully painted with the white. As you can see, it really does make it look like stone. And that's it for this guy. And that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you guys try this technique, tag me in it. I would like to see your guys' projects. And don't forget to leave a like, a comment, hit that sexy subscribe button.